Hello everybody, welcome back to Sanitarium. And I'm your host, Wizard 100 and today with me again, once again, is... The mystery man who shall never be named. Yes, the dramatic harrier of the narrier. Uh, the hit man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whatever. So previously... Yes. Sarah and, uh, we went through Sarah's story through Asmax, and now we're in Gronk's comic. And he got captured. It's for the try. Or Max got captured by, uh, the, the evil Dr. Morgan. Yes. The evil Dr. Morgan. And so, now, now we're in his comic book, um, mentality, or however you would describe this psychological, uh, change in level. Yes, we have seen his, uh, we, we have seen his comics before, so. Yeah, so they was kind of hinting at this a lot. It's also kind of, uh... I don't want to say ironic, because I was watching Starship Trooper, uh, this week. Oh, okay, that's reminiscent, Paul, yes. Paul Bear Hoven movie. So we picked up the harness from, um, that thingamabob bug we killed in the previous video, and got through. And I gotta say, this level, you start to see the, uh, the design get, start to be a little lazy, I'd say. Like, it, this is still kind of a neat little area, but... Yeah, the um, it, it kind of makes sense that he would do this too because he's like trying to escape, and he like imagines that he's strong enough to get away from the harness. So yeah, yeah, it yeah. becomes like this hulking, four-armed alien thing. Yes, thankfully not the fire in the sky thing. That was very traumatizing to me. But yeah, mm. um, the I know for a fact that you actually got this far, Hitman, but you stopped because of a few certain things that will yes, you will see in this game. By the One way, that particular thing was puzzle, a I could not get past. That was a button, by the way, and that's some creepy, like, Ridley... Who is the person who made the alien design? H.R. Giger. H.R. Geiger, yeah. That's very, uh, disturbing. So is he gonna stop the bug, or...? Nope. Grimwald! So he's, like, a centaur... Uh, Cyclops thing? Cyclops tar? Mo Cyclops tar that Because he looks like to have, like, some kind of, I don't know, uh, like, horse-like legs. Horse hind legs, and he has four arms and a cyclops eye. And, like, a lizard tail. Would you say lizard tail? I, I, uh, I, I, that's, I guess that's, so. That's not a horse tail, for sure. Man, this character is really whack. Yeah, so we're getting information from this... From this guy, from Grabbin. We need to talk more. But until the work slows down, I'm stuck here. Afterwards, I'm going back to my pod. We can meet there. My pod's globe code is Grenasser. Use it if you need to get in there for anything. Obviously, we will need something to get in here. <clears throat> right, so you need a, you need a better ID harness for the bug. Ah, yes. Oh, you still remember that part? Right, because you got the like little thing from the mechanical harness. Oh, this guy is kind of funny, uh, the, the, with his voice, this, this bug creature. Yeah, this is like the level full of, you know, distortion, voice distortion, audio oh, effects. Speaking of levels, remember back in, uh, episode one, chapter one, where that guy was talking about bugs and machine? Yep, bugs, this the bugs it? that were actually machines, yep. Which is kind of curious, though, how does he know about it? Does he read the same comic? I think it was just his paranoid fantasies. Hmm. Maybe they're just related. Yeah, or maybe he maybe he mixed his comics together with the person's paranoid fantasies, and we got oh, this. like he's just con getting confused between like the what's re real and what's not. Well, clearly. Oh, I wonder will this bridge break later on? Not like uh, well, it doesn't appear to be connected to anything, and it looks like it's thin as a wafer. Mm, this sounds very prominent. Yeah, this guy is. Uh, Captain this guy's tough guy voice is, is not convincing me. It's also by the. It is also still the uh, voice by the guy who voices Max. So yeah, I can tell. It's, it's, um, it's, it's a long way down. He's just putting on a voice. He's he's putting a gruff voice to it. Yeah. By the way, this map is very small, so there's not a whole lot to explore, which is uh, really disappointing as the game goes on. That uh, that seems contradicted by the length of the video, but okay. Yes. Uh, well, the video says otherwise because it because in, it involves me running around everywhere. So this is the only pod. Well, 
one of the few pods that it's like a housing for people. So it makes me wonder, like, where else do the others, like, live around? Who knows? Maybe they're, like, I don't know, portals and stuff to get to them? Wait, oh. did he just, like, pick that sledgehammer up with his mouth? No, oh, like, he ate it, and, now, and when he needs to use it, he's gonna vomit it up? I guess. So we got a bunch of parts of sledgehammer for a hammer time, and here's a TV. So this is, like, this is, like, HR gear. It's, like, Dark Seed. And Dark Actually, Seed, yeah, all, yeah, all yeah, that, was, like, that, that makes a lot of sense. You it's, think like, it, biomechanical things. Yes. I'm not sure whether I'd uh, want to play that game, mainly because of uh, puzzle logic of what to do. That was kind of bizarre. Actually, going back to the Starship Trooper thing, this is actually very much like Starship Trooper, in a way. With this, uh, new, oh, yeah? new, this new story about this hive. Okay, so was this the um, Cyclops evening news? Yes, yes. It oh, it is, is. okay. We're in the comic world. You, you think we can ill afford another Clendathu. Oh god. <laughs> You've seen the movie, right? Yes. Okay, Clendathu. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Yeah, this Grom, this Grama guy, the entomologist, you th uh, what did that skill in Fallout do, if you have it? It's like more damage against bugs, like 50%. Entomologist, yeah. yeah maybe that's why he's so much more effective. Yeah. As word from Glum that finally reached our closest outpost to the hive. Huh. Reach our closest Glum output? Kind of has a Spec Ops the Line kind of thing with uh, Conrad's message like going out at last. She like goes, uh, where she goes in and no one can find her. Yeah. Actually, yeah, that would be the case. So is the best like, what? The wife uh, message that somehow interrupts the uh, television program, or maybe um, you know, Grimwall. you really should have different screens for these things. Or maybe Grimwall like switch channels, like oh, news boring. So what were you gonna say before uh, you got cut off? Oh, so he's he's working with Gromna to try and stop the horde. I yes. see. Yes. But like, why doesn't why doesn't the Cyclops world like why do they trust all their their salvation to this like? Random to a couple research of people. team instead of just instead of like military forces. Oh, we'll see. The Cyclopians are pretty stupid. Uh, grap. Yeah, that's the password that's, is not in fact grap. Yes, that's the that's the joke when we were saying grap before. It's a little grap. All right, so I start exploring around, and I will definitely be speeding up videos. Oh, here this comes is that a pulse. Small map. It really is. There's only two locations here, but it's so small. Like I, it, it's disappointing. Unlike in um, chapter two in the town, where it feels vast. Yeah. Oh, and here's your favorite puzzle, and I say that with Naster's key. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what are they throwing into the? This is pretty horrifying. Like, have you... what are they throwing into the forge? Oh, you'll see. He'll, he'll... Oh, there it is. Like little baby cyclopses. Yes. Oh, jeez. It's pretty horrifying. Here he is. Cyclopean babies in the furnace. That's pretty fucking dark. Cyclopean. This is a Lovecraft story, I see. As it turns out, Cyclopean is actually a um an adjective, and it doesn't mean to having to do with cyclopses. Nope, I'd imagine. So you see that it means bug? like, yeah, but it means like um composed of like irregular um semicircular stone blocks or something like that. Oh, yeah. Anyways. But HP, HP Lovecraft uses it all the time. Oh, really? Yeah. I never, I never really read any of them. So there's that yeah, little the... piece right there, and wait, watch this. Yeah, yeah, smack it off. Break the shit. Ooh, I guess I shouldn't do that. I'm sorry, did you say pump harder? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, that bug flying there in the top left corner does nothing, it's just there. Yeah, I thought that was something. Wait, he can't, he can't stop them from throwing babies in? Nope. Huh. Not yet. Because obviously Where are they getting all these them. babies? Oh, you'll see, it's pretty horrific, I gotta say. It, it doesn't come off as horrific at, at the time I was playing, but like looking back, it's pretty fucked up. And here's that fucking puzzle. This isn't the puzzle that I, that I couldn't figure out, but I remember this puzzle. This, this puzzle is shit. I, I, I really don't know what you're doing here. 
That's why I'm speeding up because I'm not actually making any progress because I'm like, oh, what, what can I press? I, I see those five buttons there, but there are actually three more buttons that I was supposed to press. And here I'm just like running around like, oh, may maybe I can get a clue from like... Uh, yeah, what is what is your goal here? You're supposed to turn off the furnace because, uh, uh, what was it? Gromna, or not Gromna, uh, Graven said, uh... He he can't help you unless uh, work shuts down or something. So I so I run around and just like, what do I do? What do I do? So I t try to right, talk so you have to everything. destroy some stuff. Yes. And as I mentioned with the small map, there's not much to explore. So I'm just like, oh, I guess there must be. I ha I guess I just have to solve the puzzle. Right. But and is, do you have to solve the puzzle or is there yes, something you, something you don't to, know yet? You have to solve the puzzle. So I go back. Well, how are you supposed to figure out what to do? I don't know because it's an alien technology. Stuff. Yeah, it's, it's it's not that the puzzle's hard. It's just I don't know what I was supposed to do with it's it. It's just meaningless. Yeah, like none of this stuff. How do you even interpret what's going on here? Exactly. I was like, oh, what the fuck is this? I it's like I try to do my best to figure out what it is. I do eventually, but uh, not while it's being sped up. I remember I figured this out too. With I didn't have to look it up, but I was like, what? The, I never. Wait, did you? I, look I don't it up? remember. No, I didn't have to look it up, but I was like, how am I? I can't remember how I figured it out. It, it's possible to figure it out, but it's a lot of, like, fucking ass. Oh, so I also grabbed something off the... Oh, wait, I think I grabbed the pincer off. That's gonna be important later, but, uh... Why well, was I... just hanging off the wall? Yeah, because someone got it stuck. I think... I, I think back when I played it with you, um... I did have to look up a guide. I forget, but, uh... It didn't help me now, because I completely forgot about it, clearly, as I keep running around. And yeah, that's a weird-ass puzzle. <laughs> Not a yeah, it, it's very weird. But once you know how to how it works, it's not that. It, it makes sense, but in, at another and on another hand, it's kind of like a big fuck you. Right. Kinda, not on the same level as the uh, word puzzle from. Uh, well, the word the word puzzle is perfectly solvable because yes, you, you, yes, you at least know that you're looking for words. Yes, exactly. But this this is like this is an alien like insectoid kind of like lock. Like, what am I supposed to do? What do I? What can I? What can I? What can and I can't do? Yeah. Yeah, I can see that the rest of the video is going to be this. Oh, a whole lot of that. I don't know why I didn't uh, fade it a little more. Yeah, I probably should have cut it out. Probably should have. But yeah, this. But, I mean, uh, this is kind of a fair showing of the game because I, I really don't know how you're supposed to figure out how to do this or what to do here. Yeah, so I guess that's my excuse is like if I don't show the length of it and, and I just cut to me solving it, it makes the game look unintentionally better. See, that's what you're supposed to do. And I was like, fuck this. Well, right, so the, you're supposed to try and make the, the uh, wings, symbols The, the wings up. will uh, show up the symbol and then you unlock the th locks on the side. That's what you're supposed to do. Oh, I see it now. Okay. So I was like, you sons and bitches. You gotta change the colors, and then you gotta do all that. Like, how are you supposed to figure out you can press those buttons? Those buttons don't look like... They look like it's naturally part of that, uh, spine. Yeah, I, I knew it had something to do with pressing the button, but I did not know that that was it. I, I suppose the, I could have moved my hand all over the area and wait till it started, like, uh, grasping its, uh, fingers, because that's... That means you can interact with it. But... Oh, okay, it, so you have to, like, make the... Okay, so you're, you're making them red. Yeah, that's, I so I'm trying to shut it down, and I speed it up because I think everyone got the idea right here. Right, yeah. So, good video editing, I'd say. But, um, yeah, see, this puzzle's not hard, but it's just knowing what you can and can't do. It's a little face with a funny nose there. And the triangle symbol. Yes, it is. Uh, Looks like uh, something from Invader Zim. Potentially. Hey, you did it. Yay, we stopped the bug! <laughs> no more genocide today. <laughs> Tomorrow, on the other hand. Yes. Also, I believe, uh, for some reason I was able to interact with the lock again and just, uh, do nothing with it. But, uh, yeah, that didn't actually stop the furnace from ending. Mm -hmm. So, going back to a gravid here. There you are. I was beginning to get worried. In the small-ass map? Might happen to you at the furnace. Yeah, the... Ten feet away, you probably would have heard it. That's true. Now, I guess maybe he thought I got burned, but I kind of went out and talked to him. Also, by the way, the bugs are blind, so they actually can't see you. That's why they're not like, a, oh, why is there a cyclopean here and such. Yeah. And also, the harness is also what uh, confuses them, so uh, kind of flawed mm -hmm. there. The war of the one. 
Always one, never two. This sounds like a Transformer plot. The Autobots and the Decepticons. Rage is on. Yeah. And they get Shia LaBeouf for no apparent reason. Ugh. Directed by Michael Bay. Because he's that the main sounds, character. That sounds like a video game. Yeah, this could have been. Uh, that's funny, because there's actually no, like, action sequence in here. Oh, but no, we get an action sequence with Max in the, uh, the <laughs> With harvest. the scythe fighting. fighting Slice off, and dice, off baby. Oh, my God. <laughs> and then the Tim Burton, like, uh, pumpkin head. And then you got Sarah, who tells, like, a squid monster to see you in hell, freak. <laughs> but, 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 like, uh, Grimwald? No, fuck him, he gets no action. He gets enough action walking around this small-ass map. Yeah. The super buff, four-armed, horseman. Not doing anything. Really? I didn't exactly hear, hear that, or maybe I wasn't paying enough attention, but I don't remember that. Yeah, you, know, you really ought to stop doing this thing with this thing with the chattering teeth. It's not really helping you much. Oh, it's it, it doesn't really uh, it's not really in the way either though. Not much. It's in the way of their face. <laughs> oh, I gotta have fun into it. during all this. I wonder, is Gromna some kind of um, metaphor for a uh, certain someone we know from the real world? Maybe. I, I think that's what it might might have been. Yeah, some really messed up... Uh, oh my god! Up. Oh my god! I just realized something. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Gromna's, Gromna's name. Unscramble that and you actually get a name of someone. Gromna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The name of the guy that uh, the the brilliant scientist. I'll, I'll tell you at the end. Morgan. All yeah. right. Yeah, I, actually, I didn't realize that until like just huh. now. I was like, oh, subtle. Yeah, if you read it starting with the with the M and going left, it's M O R G A N. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I, I guess uh, Gromna is a metaphor for or. Uh, what the word? Take my advice, that harness you the visual for uh, Morgan in this world. Yep, so now it's time to upgrade the harness so I can go to places. With Graven's authorization, yes. Yes. And, and by then, the you, way, then you put the triangle key into that power station and then oh, blow nope. it up. Nope. Oh, hey, that baby is either dead or gone. Anyway, so here comes... Now he's operating on the table. So here's another fucking... What do you call like a like a task you gotta do in a game, but it's not a puzzle, but it was like almost as difficult as a puzzle? I don't know. Fetch quest. Mm, well, um, I guess you can kind of say that, but anyway, so this this upgrading thing that's coming up is gonna be uh, another sped up moment where I'm like, what the fuck do I do? Mm -hmm. In need of service. Does this bug have like hair on his head? It kind of. I think it's a toupee. <laughs> this bug has a toupee. It, it's it's kind of it's just a. Uh, hmm. Yeah, it's weird because it doesn't it doesn't seem like he has it on his uh. Or at least at least it's not that color. On his like actual model. model. Yeah, it looks like he's just wearing a big helmet. So this guy is like telling us all the stuff, all like the plan that's going on, because he thinks we're a bug, and it's like, what? That's why he was like, is there something uh. wrong with your memories, suck it? Mm-hmm. Nuclear weapons and robotics? It's Terminator! Why don't, just, why don't they just use it? 
Uh, I guess. Why haven't they used it already? I mean, they know where it is. Maybe the Cyclops are like a, against a nuclear weapon usage, so maybe. Yeah, maybe some, it's a, it's Greenpeace. They're conspiring with the insects to take over the world. So so maybe you heard it's some, it here first. So maybe it's some kind of message, like some kind of subtle, like real life message, like oh don't we don't you don't use nuclear and stuff. Bottom is authorization. Well, I rent this procedure. Grab it, protege of Gromna, honorable assistant to her Majesty. Bluffing our way through. Huh. So we got like the quote unquote authorization for one part, but we also need to show our age or Oh, so you put the pincer on there. Ah. That's where the puzzle comes in. And it's not even supposed to be a puzzle. So yeah, it just happens to be a pincer right next to the thing that you have to use to scan it. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. So where do you think you should put the pincer? I think it's on that thing in the background, with, like anything. Like right right to the left of you right now. The little light thing? No, there's like a little circle there. I, I think I know which one you're pointing to, but I didn't see it for some bizarre reason, so... Yeah, it's to the left of where you found the pincer originally. Oh, wow. It's... the. It's definitely in that building, but obviously I didn't see it because I, I managed to see everything else, but just except for that thing. So I'm like, oh, what do I do now? Run around. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you? What am I doing? What am I supposed to do? Oh, and then yeah. I find out it's this fucking thing. Oh, right okay. That, that's I was pointing to the thing to the right of that actually. Yeah. So can you imagine where I'm just like, how am I supposed to know? Because he doesn't. The camera doesn't shift towards it, he doesn't point towards like, the bug doesn't yeah. point towards it, it's just like, you should just know this. And I'm like, how was I supposed to know? Funny, so I thought- they, So, the, uh, they can tell- they can tell only the age with that scanner, nothing else? Yep. I presume it was some kind of DNA scanner. That blind and stupid- So wouldn't they- wouldn't they be able to tell that you weren't the same bug? Apparently not. Treatment. That's why they lost. So now we got another flashback. Huh. Why do they always go to, like, uh, South America to find out how to solve a disease? I don't know. Maybe they're doing, uh, maybe they're testing on the natives. I don't know. <laughs> That's terrible. The treatment's called Hope. It's supposed to decelerate the growth of the DNAV. Almost doubling the lifespan of the affected DNA V. It's not the FEV virus. Well, hey, if Morgan is close to a cure, a true cure, then maybe you can use another set of hands. Oh, so they're searching for an ancient Aztec cure for the a similar disease, yeah, yeah, apparently. They're, they're trying to solve, like, the same disease. <laughs> what? What? Oh, there's a fire in my brain. There's a fire in my brain. What? All right, all right, all right. I did not remember that at all. Ah, these, these deliveries. It's excellent. If I wanted to make the protagonist of my game have a good voice, I would hire this guy. Yeah, I'd say, I would say so. so Hell with Nolan North. Oh, good. Oh, there he goes. That's where they're getting all the babies. Oh, they're man. they're like growing them. Which was just like earlier. Ugh. This is straight out of like Dark Seed. Oh God! That baby was in that tube as a. Geez. Oh jeez. Well, youth does hide the key to salvation. Yes, that's why they were cloning those babies in that last part when you were asking. Yeah. Hey, it's. Hmm. It's only his chin moving. I noticed. That's not an experiment. It's torture. What possible? When you it's torture. It's torture. <laughs> <laughs> I see the potential fruits of our research and But I was supposed to go to Mos Eisley for some power converters. <laughs> well, you're gonna go pick me up some droids, I Luke. In, scientific research, Max. in layman's terms, you can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. But see, Morgan, that's a monkey and not an egg. Yeah. <laughs> he probably caused like he was probably the one who caused HIV to appear. Oh, my strength will break the bottle. I need something to Oh, break that, that, uh, good old theory. Yes. So, yeah, so that pincer was to slice that thing off. Before I leave here. I'll burn all of these grubs before I leave here. Which you 
which uh, you kind of didn't. Spoilers, but uh, yeah, it's not that big. Now this thing was another weird little uh, thing that I didn't know that I wasn't sure how to work out because I actually did beat this and get all the way to uh, the next section, the next two chapters, but uh, at the time of recording this, I did not remember. Yeah. I tried to sledgehammer this little hole. Yeah, that's gonna work. Yeah, that would have been a little unreasonable if that was the solution. So here's some more uh, body horror with half Cyclops, half Bug. Ooh, uh, body horror. Yes. That's, that's, that's good. Sort of like the uh, second, or you know, episode two or whatever. Chapter two with the plant conversion. Yeah. Well. Yeah, that was kind of a little grotesque, but not, I, I wouldn't say as grotesque as, like, t being turning into a bug. The one girl got to turn into, like, a worm, though. Oh, yeah. So, that, so that's technically a bug, too. Well, it's an annelid. Oh, but you know what I mean, an insect. Are they insects? Uh, I would go with annelids, but, you know. I'm looking this up, okay. I'm looking at just, I'm just doing the broad, dirty term for it. So Gromna has been betraying all the all the teams that have been uh, trying to stop this. Right, and, and transforming them. But we kind of figured he was going to do something like this from earlier conversation. And the fact that his name is an anagram of Morgan. Mm -hmm. Which I found out only up on, like, rewatching this. Yeah. But, uh, no. A Annelids are not in the same category as insects uh arthropods insects okay but you know you know you know what you're, i was talking about i just yeah it's cuz they don't have legs what is the answer i don't understand what answer yeah it's a missing pod the answer to life the answer to the medicine So when you get turned into a bug here, like like with all other body horrors, you have to your mind is obviously corrupted by the by the main corruptor, the queen. Yeah. And in chapter two, they were corrupted by mother. Although not that not as badly though. Like, but then again, she was kind of asleep at that point. Yeah, I don't know. It's apparently his duty is flailing his duty is flailing his arms around. And his bug ass. Yeah, <laughs> what he's doing there. He's doing the chicken dance. I'm assuming he's like, I'm assuming he's like two-headed, right? And the other, in the so the bug uh, thorax, just another another head sticking out of it. Oh god, that makes me. Hmm. That makes me want to say it makes me think of one of the Pokemon's that was kind of like that, in terms of the idea, not the actual look. By the makers. What other games said that? I. I don't remember. Well, there was um, the Maker in Dragon Age Origins, but that wasn't the same thing. Yeah, that gets used a lot, like, uh, oh, the one, the Maker, the blah, 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 blah. Makes sense. That's, yeah, I guess that was the t Queen's Chamber. You've heard of a movie called The Naked Lunch before? Naked Lunch? I've heard of the Naked Gun. Naked Lunch, I've, well, it had this really weird scene where there was like this giant centipede thing. Oh, and God. I don't know, that's, this sort of uh, reminds me of that. Like, really, really disturbing body, uh, horror. body horror thing. Oh, probably a lot better than the human centipede, which, uh, if you want to watch that movie, just look at one image of it and you've seen the entire movie. Okay, good, good to know. Because literally, I saw a review of it, and I was like, oh, if I just saw the picture of the human centipede, that was it. Because the plot has nothing else to work on after that. Because it was a stupid yeah. plot in the beginning. Right. The great machine. Oh, so he's talking about the, uh, yeah. the power station or whatever? Yeah, the thing we saw earlier. Mm -hmm, with the triangle hole in it? Yes, the triangle hole. According to these notes, two parts may have been removed to aid the insectoids. I need to visit the great machine and see for myself. 
there were a few times where I almost broke up or broke into looking at a guide, but I stayed strong and did not do that. Good. Yeah, this this does seem like able to be figured out as long as you like just click around. Yeah, yeah, everything. yeah. It doesn't have the bizarre moon logic, but it does have some frustrating moments of where am I supposed to do stuff or how mm -hmm. am I supposed to do it? Yeah, it can be a little confusing, but after a little searching around, you found it. Well, because I'm also like bringing up the fact like that that bug lock puzzle. Like it's like like if I knew what where how where all the functions were, it's like oh that wasn't a very difficult puzzle at all. We'll see that sometime later in this in the oh, so, in future so videos. He's, so he's also dissecting grubs, so he doesn't really care for either the insects or the cyclops. Apparently. Yeah, be because the his password is called immortal. He only cares about himself. Mm -hmm. So you got to get a key to unlock that. But guess where the key is? Is it inside the grub? Nope. Uh, Interesting thought, but no. Does Graven have it? I don't know. That'd be no. Does the other, um, like, half-bug uh, Cyclops have it? You'd think they would, but no. Uh, do you kill the, um, half-robot bug for it? <laughs> Somehow it ends in murder, but no. But I did try to go talk to the bug to see if he would have done something. Yeah, apparently doesn't have it, okay. Nope, but, uh, I don't remember how long this is gonna take me Is to it just hidden somewhere? Oh, it's hidden somewhere, all right. So here's a little game for all the viewers watching, including Hitman here himself. Yeah, how can you out. find it? Oh, for some reason I can touch this thing again, even though you're not supposed to. Yeah. And I was like, maybe I have to turn on the furnace again and get some shit to happen. <laughs> and he yeah. says the same thing again, with like, no more genocide anymore. Yeah, so I thought that flying bug might have something to do with something, but no, it doesn't. Well, you got out of there and you didn't burn the grubs, you liar. No, I didn't, because I couldn't. Oh, that, it was not my fault that I did. The flamethrower there? It, then it would turn into aliens. And the xenomorphs yeah. are actually also considered bugs, too. Right. I tried it playing AVP, like the really, really old one, and uh, that gave me motion sickness. I tried to play the new one that gave me motion sickness. I don't even usually get motion sickness. But you like, mean, was the, the 2010 the... one? Yeah, it's the one where, where you, you could play as like an alien and like climb on the walls and stuff. Like that was so disorienting. Oh, I I can imagine so. To like run up and then be able to walk on the walls. Like, like maybe if it was in third person, it might be a little bit more tolerable. Right, you could at least keep a consistent camera angle. But my God, that was weird. Yeah, I'm pretty I sure if you if you gave that to someone that like a virtual reality head, virtual reality headset, they would just like oh, oh, their VR brain would explode. Headset, just yeah, from they they seizure out. Yeah, apparently um. It causes a lot of really disorienting feeling if, like, you know, games like take control of your character's camera. Yeah, 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 because it's just like your brain's not processing it. And oh, look at this! Oh, it's in a pillow. <laughs> Fuck this game sometimes. <laughs> God, really? I ran all around the map only for the fucking thing. Evil to scientist be in... seeking mortality, immortality. Hide his key in a in a pillow. <laughs> in a pillowcase, two feet away. That. <sighs> It, it wasn't even in the pillowcase, it was under the pillow. It was almost like off, not off screen, but it was kind of like blending into it with the, um, with the, with the environment in the house. Mm -hmm. So it completely escaped my mind to like check that out. Yeah. So this, uh, I don't like this level in terms of like some of the puzzles because I'm just like, oh, fuck that. Oh, so you need a sound generator. Yes. And just, oh you, you, you just get sucked in! <laughs> like, what the f what? That's some well, nasty that's, shit. Uh, neat. Father. So there's Gromna? Yes. Well, that's <laughs> some weird hair. And he didn't see Grimwall? Grimwall's a notoriously stealthy, uh. Cyclops. Cyclops centaur man. Yeah, so, we're some, so we're making some progress. Yeah, we're getting to the puzzle that I wasn't able to solve. I think I m might know why you might not have been able to solve it, but uh. Yeah, we'll we'll see. So another one of our companions that was not in that cutscene has uh been converted. I am A little more coherent than the last guy. Ah, but not the most coherent one. Now, hero. Where are you? 
So the usual ask the question is... Where are you from? Oh, why would he ask that? I mean, it should be... Well... You should already know that he was one of the research team. Exactly. So some, 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 some of his like questions were a bit repetitive. Oh, did you not see the news? You saw the news on the TV? I'm yeah. surprised there was a TV. I didn't know bugs watch TV. Apparently they do. Maybe Graben brought it. Portable television. And he's using the Cyclopean babies as electricity. Ooh. That's just weird. <laughs> Why would you have to like breed a bunch of babies to use this? I don't, you'd think it would take more energy to make them than they would give you? Yeah, technically. That's also the thing with the... Ma that's what they said about the Matrix, too, about how like harvesting human energy, where, where it's like it's not efficient at all. Yeah, like producing was it like heat. heat energy is it like the synapses of, some, of their brain or? it's it's the heat energy it. of something because uh, machines can't produce heat for some reason yeah they, they wouldn't i don't know no, it doesn't human make sense. energy ultimately comes from the sun so they couldn't have used solar energy well the sun was blocked out oh yeah that's true that was why they had to use humans in the first place but ultimately humans energy comes from the sun so it doesn't really make sense they survived Oh, yeah, yeah. Can't praise the sun. Traitor and a butcher. Who would butcher all these people? Who would butcher all these people? I wonder, is the butchering related to, like, the previous chapter? The previous very short chapter, I might add. I don't know. Probably. Yeah, I'm making all these connections. Some of it's like which it's like his memories and and the comic book and the like paranoid reality. delusions mixed Are, together. Yeah, yeah, they're all blended. It is weird. Together. Yeah. So, what do you think of like uh, the the the, the Grognog uh, comic so far level? Um, a little obtuse. Like when you when you said like chapter two was the highlight and after playing through the entire game I'm like yeah 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 I'm, I'm repeating myself again but yeah like chapter two was definitely the biggest highlight of the game yeah Grimwall is is looking a little a little weak yeah and also if you still got the horror part like, it, it is things are still really messed up and like, it's still uh like if you think something like if you think about it it is definitely very fucked up mm, oh yeah this part do do. That becomes significant. Yep. I'd keep playing it again because I was like, oh, that sounds funny. In the belly of a beast, I'm sleeping, fish is here. No, don't go through the bowels. Although I do end up going back because I missed something. Worms? Wall of worms. That does not look like a wall of worms. No, it doesn't, yeah. Like intestine like feelers. Yeah, some kind of like. So this is this the puzzle you were talking about? This is like the body of the many from System Shock. Oh yes, god. this is the puzzle. Oh god! Fucking loud as shit. And weird as hell. You better <laughs> change the audio levels when we upload this. Yeah, don't oh worry. Oh my god, that's so loud. But yeah, I could not figure out how to solve this. Yeah, but you see, the, the answer is right in front of you, actually. Yeah, I just couldn't discern the difference between the um, the different beats. I'm kind of like tone deaf in that way. Really? Anyways, the answer is from the kids when they're like humming the. Dun, dun, go, mm, dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I know. I just couldn't tell the difference between. And the, look at like, that! Look at all those babies. Jeez. Their blood is being drained into the machine. Well, they're pretty creative with their use of cyclops babies, I'd say. Man, horror horrific. I mean, I wasn't like, I wasn't scarred by it, but it definitely is very fucked up. I wouldn't want to be in this place. Yeah. But she still seems aware as a cyclops. Oh, this is the one you were talking about? Yes. The females are the ones that don't lose their minds. She's, she's the most coherent one, because she's not a male. I, does that have significance? No, yeah. Because huh. appa apparently, according to this game, and I'm not saying it isn't true, uh, but female minds are much more mentally stronger than a male's. 
I'm not are saying you, anything, but you know. Are you I, just I, intuiting I, that from this, or, yes. is, or that, does the game actually say it? Uh, I'm just basing it off the fact that she's the most coherent one, other than the guys. Huh. And then a couple of other, like, uh, things back in the 90s where it's like, uh, you know, this is better than this, or this one is not as good as this, and all that stuff. Okay, we're getting off the top. Yes, we are. Um, I can... Well, to a degree, but yeah. Okay, so she can tell, um, tell the whole story. Yeah, so we, we get, like, a clearer story from her. Mm-hmm. But I'd like to hear your story. <laughs> I don't have time, but please tell me. Yeah. After we were captured, the queen was set to execute us, but Grona convinced the queen to let us live. Grom, Gromna. Gromna. Beezlebub. Yeah, trying to. F yeah, how do you even do that? Let's just like cut, cut and paste this <laughs> creatures together. This, is, this isn't Photoshop. I feel like you can't do that. Anyway, so the reason why they're turned into like this is because Gromna is trying to find immortality by combining the longevity of the insects and cyclopean DNA because, uh, well, he's a cyclops. Yeah, yeah okay, so apparently, right by being part insect and part robot, you can become. You can live forever. Why don't you just go full robot? Well, I guess you'd, 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 ru you'd rust. If you can't, I don't know. I don't know, maybe you'd have to go into an interstellar uh, war against Thundercats if you did. Fuck. <laughs> Why not just escape? Right, so apparently they're... They're, they're still... Apparently alive. your mind may be Cyclops, but if your ass is bug, you have to listen to the... Listen to the Queen? Yes, because uh, the Queen... Because the hive mind mentally controls you. Uh, not apparently not to the degree where it can stop you from blabbing everything. Nope. So, uh, merging our two species is Dementia. Okay. So apparently, apparently she's not been a bug for as long. Like maybe she's just more recent. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, like like uh, she's she's not fully converted as much as the other Cyclops because they were the first ones to do. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Hmm, no, that, that's another thought. What is she doing? Is she just, like, occasionally touching the... Is she, is she praying? Oh, praying, <laughs> or either, like, uh... Or either, <laughs> like, uh, helping the kid, like, ease their suffering, as she's saying right here. Hmm. Their short lives. Oh, man, that sucks so much. Yeah, it's, it's no, like, really, it does. <laughs> Only oh, to live yeah. to be a fuel source. Oh, the Matrix. Oh, and a few other things, like, you know... This game's after the Matrix, right? I don't know. I, I want to say before, maybe during the time. Yeah, let's see. Head Matrix. to the research. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm curious. 1999 was the Matrix Sanitarium. 1998? Sanitarium was, I think, 2000. Um, that was 1998, actually. Oh! Oh, yeah! Totally ripped this off. This is the source of inspiration for the Wachowski brothers. You're here first. <laughs> you shameless ripoffs. <laughs> yeah. I have, yet to see, just... I, have, I have yet to actually see The Matrix, by the way. Really? Yeah, I, like, I know about it because everyone talks about it, talked about it back then, so I kind of knew about the movie and how it went about, but I never actually saw it. Yeah, it's, it's well worth it. I, I, there's a lot of old ones I haven't seen, so... Including Lord of the Rings, but... So oh, I, yeah. Well, touche. I, I, I did see Lord, the Lord of the Rings. Both the extended right. cuts and such. Huh? Yeah, so it finally snapped, even though uh, you weren't on the bridge. Yeah, no one was on it. This flimsy stuff. <laughs> Not my weight. Everyone's uh, weight, but my, my weight. Yeah, so I made a mistake here, because I actually went down and set up up when I was in the, uh, the bug chamber. Because I didn't realize you could still go up, so I'm just like, oh, well, maybe I should talk to uh, Graven about it. Mm -hmm. back. Oh, yeah, yeah, so I throw I this throw, shit. throw it to him, yeah? Yeah. When you... Glad he's a good catcher. It's kind of strange seeing, a, a like, something logical in this game. Like, I never thought that would have worked. I thought you'd have to do some weird contraption. That bug from earlier that was flying around, I thought maybe I had to trick it to so carry the device to him. So, wait, that was the triangle? 
Yeah. The triangle was the power source. What yep. are the kids for? Uh, the generator was the power of the, the suction of the blood. I, okay. I, I'm, I'm not a scientist or a cyclops. It seems a little complicated. <laughs> now you're thinking with portals. Oh, to go on with the bug theme, a wormhole. A wormhole, yes. Can't you make it? It doesn't make very much sense. That could be it. Wherever it is, you must hurry and find it before the peace treaty tomorrow. Something tells me that it's nothing more than a clever disguise for a more. Yeah, so Morgan's, it's just, always, just play, Morgan's like playing everyone involved. It's always like, uh, oh, right before some big event of a peace treaty. So I'm yeah, pe yeah, peace treaties are never well, well, uh, well done in games. Never, never, uh, nope, never end well. Yeah, so that bug, I, I was, I thought maybe I was supposed to use that to send the generator over, but nope, you just did something logical, and it's like, in puzzle games, you never would have thought to do that because you expect something bizarre. Oh, really? To so go up there? Yes, yes, you do. The only place to go is up. So what's what's the solution to this? You grab the rope and climb up. That's a rope? Yes. Couldn't I didn't see it the first time, hence why I ran back. But that was also because of the generator. That really does not look like it could support Grimwall weight. No, it's supported better than that flimsy bridge. Why is there a globe in front of him? Because it's a hologram. And he's talking to the world. I love how the bugs are handling the camera. Just like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> little bug. <laughs> it just looks so funny. It's like seeing a furry little animal, like, like, film something for a guy. And the queen yeah. bug, she's just moving around, like, nyep, 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 nyep. <laughs> she apparently can't control herself. She's oh so my. excited. Maybe it's like, oh my god, I'm on TV. Hey, everybody, I'm on TV. <laughs> yeah. Hey, 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 I'm on TV. Look at me, I'm the queen. I always wanted to be on TV. Hi, Mom! Oh, wait, I don't have any moms in uh, Cyclovia, but that's okay. But I'm going to say, say, hey, Mom, because uh, I've never been on the TV before. So, obviously, uh, Gromna is, some, is doing some media bullshit. Sort of like a certain someone else we that we uh, know right now. So, presumably, you're going to kill the queen bug? Oh, definitely. Okay, so I guess you can unplug her. Yes, as you can... There's if you little can, tubes there. If you can see, yeah, right next to the tubes, there's a little something we could use, or take. This, that head just does not look like it fits on the body. No, it doesn't. And it's like, what the, is this what it does for its entire life? Be a fat queen just in just in this one area? Like, well, that is how, um, like, ant queens are. I, I, I know, but it's like, like uh... Puffed up. Yeah, I, I know, but it's like... Like, if I imagined myself in her position, I'd fucking, like, die of boredom. Yeah. But then again, I'm not a bug. Well, she's a, yeah, she's an intelligent bug. She's... Maybe like the brain bug? Oh god, from Star Trek Trooper, yeah. He sucked his brains out. <laughs> I, I admire Maybe... the dedication of someone who could, uh... Say I'll crush you, camera up. bug. Yeah, I admire the dedication of someone that can, that can actually consider themselves a serious actor and, like, deliver a line like that. Well, it was said by Michael Ironhide. Ironside? Or, yeah, yeah. side, damn it. Ironhide was a transformer. I mixed it up. Yeah, the um, the the dude who played was the sergeant. Yeah, Z, yeah, yeah. Whatever his name was, he, he John was John Rascal. John Rascal. Or, I, I know it was Rascal because uh, it was Rascal's redneck. I'm probably butchering the name, but I, I know. No, his name was Eric. I thought he was the Kurgan from the Highlander. Oh really? Yeah. Hold on. I know he who was a uh, Richter from Total Recall. See you with the party, Richter. I, I never saw the whole movie. I Me only watched like, the first half of it. I have the Total Recall movie, but I haven't seen it. It's funny because uh, Michael Ironside uh, lost his legs in Starship Troopers, and he loses his arm in uh, Think of Bob. Yeah, so we unplugged her. On Total Recall, he gets shot, right? He has his arms ripped off by Arnold Schwarzenegger, hence the line, See you at the party, Richter, on the elevator. I thought, that was, I thought Michael Ironside was the guy that was like, Don't fuck with your brain, pal. No, it ain't that worth was, it. That, no, that was someone else. Huh. I forget his name, but it's not Danny DeVito. Oh God, here's a funny line in this cutscene. If um, or is it from a later one? Huh? No, it's not. No, not here. Not here. Yeah, but it's in that scene. Okay. So now we got all the pieces, and now we're getting out of here.
Mm-hmm. Oh, they're gonna use nukes anyways. Well, too bad they weren't looking for the brain bug. Or, good thing they weren't looking for the brain bug, because otherwise, uh, they wouldn't nuke the place. Okay, Sergeant Zim Clancy Brown, that's his name. Okay. Also did, um, Lex Luthor in the Justice League cartoon. Wait, I thought Michael Ironside did Darkseid in the... in the Superman and Justice League. Not yeah, might have. No, I looked it up. It was him, and he also did no, Sam like, Vicious voice. No, but it was Luthor. Luthor was Clancy Brown. Oh, okay. Also did Shawshank. Wait, wait, what? So now we've been put in here, because uh, when we broke out of that, we didn't actually break out of it. We actually uh, were transported to this area, which, once again, I don't know how you got here, and you can't tell me about the... Uh, and you can't tell me about the uh, teleporting thing, because Morgan and whatever, like... You're, you're telling me they teleported here? Yeah, so you actually, like, survived? Survived and was brought here, physically. Yeah. Oh. Right, so I guess he was, like, killed and then put here. Wait, but he somehow actually? lived? Yeah. No, he was just put in cold storage to die slowly, like, without, you know, no quick death. Oh, huh. that's kind of bizarre. For some reason, I can see the headstone from all the way over here. <laughs> he, is, Man, he, is, uh, he has, like, far sight. He's X-ray vision, but only for tombstones. <laughs> and a few other things. Very oh, bizarre God. power. Oh, jeez. That's some creepy-ass shit. Technically, but not really, from what I've played through. So, one who will do anything... Yeah. Don't we already know this? Well, I guess just in Dr. case can catch it. To what? Oh, who could it be? <laughs> who could it be? I don't this know. This person's downfall? Thank you. Fruitless questions, indeed. I don't. I don't get it. Like, if if he leaves, then that means it's the this corpse person's like demise. So, so what? She's already dead. Yeah, isn't that well, isn't that what's going on? This isn't some moral dilemma like from Spec Ops. Yeah, or any other game with moral dilemmas. Forever. F -f -f Forever. I mean, this is kind of like the equivalent of like that guy that gets trapped under the truck, and you can either end his misery or let him burn. Uh, maybe. I'm pretty sure she's just dead regardless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's just dead regardless. So whatever you did wouldn't have mattered. All right. All right. So the only thing we can do is. Okay, explain this Wait, to the, me. Wait, a puzzle door? So explain this to me. Why is there a lock on the inside to let whatever come out? Uh huh. I can. Oh, is, is it in case? Is it in case someone alive actually accidentally gets yeah. stuck in here? Uh, yeah, maybe they maybe they foresaw this. You know, like how how people were buried alive in like the 1800s and stuff. Maybe this is like a solution to that. But they only wanted you to be alive if you were clever enough to like get out. I suppose. So it's like solve a puzzle, <laughs> escape from your buried alive. State. I don't know. Let's see. Which would um. What would the currency be, though? I don't know. See here, I'm just confused as to what you're doing. So I'm trying to get the gear. Okay, rolling that gear up turns the levers on or the gears on the left side. Right. So and then that allows me to turn the thing in the middle to open the door. I did the frozen shut, but I opened it. Apparently, yeah. I think his dialogue actually made a mistake because it was supposed to be said afterwards. Yeah, I think so too. What the hell are you doing? Ah, more cutscene with uh, Doctor Morgan. Pulling most of my funding, despite the fact that my department, my research is coming remarkably close to a cure. Oh, your research. May I remind you that the Mercy Foundation was created around the success of my hope drug. Not vague promises of a cure. Who money? Who wants Rather money? Than wasting resources on an entirely new path, you need to channel your energies toward making the hope drug better. Is that dude on the left a bug? The guy on the left a bug? I, I can't quite see. No? He's got like some weird sort of like. No, he head just thing. has a bad hairdo. I'm like head thing on. Wait, you think that that you think that two pays is the same bug guy? Yeah. Oh my god. Another two pay. We've discovered the conspiracy. I'll leave. I'll take my research with me and find a 
city that's more concerned with finding a cure than filling its pockets. I... So we find, so this cutscene, if not hasn't already said, showed us, that uh, Morgan is all about the money. Because uh, the hope drug doesn't actually really cure, it just kind of... Yeah, it just like makes them live a little longer. sister didn't die of DNA. Trying to seem sympathetic, but no. The truth is that it's difficult to measure the success of your research against the proven methods of the Hope Treatment. Look, you don't have to leave Mercy to continue. Uh, so I don't, Morgan, I don't, so I don't, Morgan's I don't, actually being like the conciliatory here, or at least you know in front of people. But he's I don't pretending know to be, yeah. But I don't know why they wouldn't want to cure. Won't you get a lot of money for it? But then again, I guess if you cured the disease, it's like there's no more need to make like uh, medicine to I guess. sell. I suppose there's a business side to everything. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Alright, so there's something that weird that happens during this... Big uh, Pharma, curse you! Big Pharma, curse you? Big uh, pharmaceutical company is Big Pharma, you know. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. So he has a giant bust of himself that will need to bust something. And there's something weird that happens in this, uh... In this, uh, video I did, which I... I... <laughs> What, are you gonna whack him over the head with his own bust? Mm, that'd be funny, but no. But we do need to use Darn. it, though. So... Y yeah, you've never made it to this part now, did you? No. No, not because of that, uh, that, that lock puzzle with the sound. Body, yeah. I feel like I've seen this before, but I haven't actually played it. Oh, well, it's this it's the uh, incinerator area. I think you might have seen it in a screenshot because I felt like I've seen it before. Well, actually, yes, I have seen it before. I don't know how I solved the shit here, though. Yeah, I, uh, I'm I know not really I getting it. what's going on, although I'm not really paying much attention. I know I made it past to the next chapter after this, but um, yeah, I don't actually remember how I did it before back then. Yeah, I'm just not really seeing what you're doing. Yeah, the now objective doesn't. Anything. The objective here doesn't doesn't seem that clear. So I'll I'll, I'll say that. But yeah, this game isn't really big on uh, showing you wrong ways to solve the puzzle. Like I remember in like Phantasmagoria and stuff like that, they would have like you trying to, to do things with the wrong thing, and then like you die. It would it wouldn't so, no, but, they, but it like wouldn't it wouldn't work. So you'd have to like try with something else. Like that uh, that scene with the um, what was it? A toolbox you have to open. Phantasmagoria 1. Oh, it was 2, I think. Uh, Puzzle of Flesh? Yes. I heard that, Curtis. Yes, but but uh, there, there's a bit where you can like use a hammer, it doesn't work, you can use a screwdriver, it doesn't work, you can use other things, it doesn't work. Ah, but, I need yeah. something to bust through this wall. I don't think a monkey wrench is really suited to that task. Well, throw a monkey wrench into the wall. What <laughs> I, d I really don't think it's just tough enough to get the wall. See, that I know, look, that doesn't look like something you can necessarily pass through. Isn't there an old trick yeah, some of, some of it is a little unclear. Difficult. Difficult. So you just flat out tells you what to do there? Oh, uh, well, you, you need that gravestone to, like, realize something. So does he actually, like... I bet it's his sister's body. Oh, but, God. Uh, no. But, uh, did, did, did he just, like, think, Oh, hey, yeah, you sure upset on things. I would love it if it was completely unrelated to the game. Like, you don't actually have to do that. There's no soot here. Uh, now before I forget, there is... just wanted to share a fun fact. Get to work, you maggots. Uh, so there, before I forget, there's this one thing that doesn't make sense that I will, uh, question a little later after, uh, after this when I solve, solve what you're supposed to be doing. But it involves getting into that building, and, like, the question is, like, how did, like, uh, how were you... How did the other person get into the building before you did? Yeah, so that tree is actually alive, like not like not in the traditional sense. Can you? Well, I mean, yeah. Go, can you talk to him? Yes, you can. But not right now, cause um. Hit him with you, the monkey wrench. <laughs> you tried yes. it. Yeah, I, I tried it. Yeah, yeah. Just in case, maybe he's afraid of monkey wrenches and don't, doesn't want his nuts uh twist turned upside down. Um. Yeah, yeah we'll, go, we'll go. We'll go with that. 
So we need so we need to get in this building, which uh, has no keys. So you have matches, in. a pot, and a monkey wrench. Yes, and there was another thing I was supposed to get that I mentioned earlier. So did you not pick up? Can you pick up the bust? Yes, you can. But I didn't realize you could pick it up. Yeah. Until a little later. Because it, it looked like you clicked on it, but you couldn't pick it up. Oh, no, because you have to first examine it, then you can pick it up. You can't pick it up oh. and be examining it at the same time, which happens a lot where I thought the item was just there to observe, but uh, you can actually pick up. Because in the game, like that wrench, you can just pick it up and then he'll talk about it. So it gets kind of, so it gets kind of confusing. It's a tad inconsistent, yeah. So it's like the puzzles aren't hard. That would hurt. What? That would hurt. With the what? urn? What would hurt? The urn, or the urn, I should say. But he he, he used the matches on the door, and it's like that'll that, that would hurt. I don't. Why would you say that, Max? Max, you're kind of confusing me right now. I guess she just said like my brain hurts too much to do that. My brain hurts too much to do that, I don't think No, that. no, no. My brain is on fire! Totally. No, someone's gonna be on fire. Oh, come on, you already tried this. Well, but just yeah, like, light the lever's on fire. <laughs> Who knows, maybe I'll heat things up. I'm just, yeah, see, imagining, he's, he's, I'm just he's imagining he was some kind of errant voice in his head, like, light the switches on fire, and he's like, that's not a good <laughs> idea. Yeah, he's supposed to say the doors are frozen shut after he got out of it, but for some reason he doesn't. Okay, so here's what you were supposed to do. Huh. You gotta do it twice. Just keep throwing it, yeah. Yes! I smell gas. Must be an open so we had to turn on the gas because the incinerator wouldn't work. I don't know why it's on the outside. Wouldn't that make it really annoying to go turn it around? Yeah, I don't, In I fact, don't how, do you even, how do you even get there anyways if you didn't you have to break down the wall? You have to break down the wall every time. Dr. Morgan has an iron bus you have to move the... You have to knock over the bookcase and then like none, then knock the wall down and then go there. Yeah, so it's like... I couldn't bust out the window? I guess there's a... Yeah, it was a poor building design, really, there. but... So now we get to turn this on and burn very specific bodies for some reason. Oh, there was some, some sort of like code. No, or, well, yeah, there is, but it's like, oh, how come it's like, why is it so specific to certain, uh, certain bodies? Oh, did you miss something out there? Oh, I turned the valve twice, which turned it off, right? I don't know why oh. you, I don't know why I gave you the ability to turn it off. Right. So that was just kind of dumb. Of me and the game. Hmm. All right, so we turn on the gas. Hey, a bunch of lovers, how do I turn this on? It seems like he's already trying to do it. Alright, so we gotta burn some bodies. For some reason, he already knows which ones to burn without having to discover it. Yeah, how do you how do you know? I don't. Uh, why? No, I do, because the mouse told me to. It's kind of like what, what we said in Fall in the Fallout 3 and in Fallout 3 and 4, where it's like, why are we always attacking these people? Well, the, the red dot told me it's an enemy. Yeah. It's not my fault. Yeah, so that guy had a glass eye. A good, good, uh, good joke, Max. What did you are say? You, are you collecting his ashes? Yes. Oh, so you're gonna rub that ashes on the tombstone to yep. be able to, to read, read it? the words. Yep. This is so bizarre. Would it actually work like that? I mean, hmm. I, 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 I guess it would, because then there's the engravings on it, and then you put the well, like dust or dirt to like make it to sink into it to be uh, legible. Yeah. Not Tony Stark, or Tony Stark's brother. <laughs> Use the glass eye. I don't know, maybe the glass eye had, it was like a, could see some secret code or something. Maybe. Okay, so I sped this up because clearly I was, uh, I was like, what am I supposed to do? I thought maybe I could see something with the eye, like the eye is a special or something. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't get what you're supposed to do here either, really. Oh, and check this out. What? <laughs> That was so fucked up. <laughs> I'm glad you kept that not sped up. So Whoa, is is, is there someone else we need to burn? Yes, you do. Not some more speeding up because I'm like, what am I supposed to do? Uh, you're actually supposed to go back into the into the cold room, but you had to do something to make it open because, yeah, as you remember, the door doors the doors are frozen shut. Hmm. And we got to use that U-shaped pipe for it. What do you break the frost off it? 
No. We're not being pipe hitting motherfuckers, but if you if you look carefully, you can actually see it. But I obviously didn't. I, I don't see. Look any... around and uh, oh, right there. I can turn the cold off. Yes. Right. And then Is that you, it? That's why you need to use the uh, wrench. Then put that in there. Warms up the frozen room. And then I can go back in there. That's oh, reasonable. We also hear like some knocking inside the place. Hmm. But I didn't realize. I don't think I realized that. Uh, you know, I'm supposed to go back in there quite yet. But it's uh, thanks to the hands of sanitarium. I didn't realize it. Right, because you hover over and there's a hand. Yeah. So there's someone in one of these, other than someone in these, um, these, what do you call them? Cabinets? I guess. Storage or whatever? Yeah. Oh, look, someone was actually still alive. Oh, hey there. He looks cold. Oh, you don't say so, Max. Who are you? Gandalf. Oh, the drawer, that's what it's called. It's all, it's all technically is a drawer, but yeah. yeah. This is the old man like uh, that was on the recorded message in Chapter 6. Huh. How about like, where'd that old man go? That's weird. I'm pretty sure it's him. What? I'm trying to imagine this sequence. Like, of it actually happening? He's taking a nap in the courtyard and getting, he just, this just shows up human head in hand and is like, Hey, you're too old, pal. Why would you sleep in the courtyard? I mean, it looks like shit. Is this guy... Is he one of the patients, or what? He was one of the experiments for, like, the youth to salvation. Huh. Yeah, well, what? Yeah, this guy, I look at this guy and I think youth. Definitely full of youth and vibrance. Because uh, he, he was saying earlier, like, Dr. Morgan said, like, oh, you're too old for my experiments. What's he even doing here? Uh, they, th uh, they thought he was dead, so they shoved him in here. Huh. It's nice here now. Thank you, Sonny. Thank you, Sonny. Scratching. What exactly was it? Can't say for sure. Uh, just remember... Hearing these awful screeching and scraping noises nearby. Which is going to be important, <laughs> of course. Outside? Yeah, it's kind of disorienting in there, you know? It's out of muffled, but... Was there someone else in there? Yes, there was. The sound was coming from the under drill floor. Morgan, he was holding a head? Sure, a stack of Bibles. I saw it. His arms were red with blood and he was swinging around. Like Medusa's head? <laughs> he was swinging it around. <laughs> Whee! Human head! I guess you can say he was getting some head. Was like twirling it around. <laughs> like a revolver? Yeah, he's just, just grabbing by the hair and like spinning it. Okay, so he mentioned something in one of the drawers, so I opened it up, but I didn't realize you could actually look inside the drawers. Because I, I didn't realize it. Because um, I thought, you're, yeah, you're supposed to do that, but I didn't realize you could actually get mm -hmm. on the bed and look. So obviously I had to check each and every one of them. Sped it up, of course. Yeah. And I find the right one, which was uh, the one below us. Empty. Wait a second. There are scratches all over the inside. It's dark in here. I can't quite make out what these scratches are. Hmm, so maybe those matches would come in handy. Yep. Although, I'd imagine this would have been a limited uh, usage, though. Mm-hmm. Oh, we're trying to figure it out. That's a lot to take in, I gotta say. What? This looks like something from, like, The Grudge. Like, if it was it's a like point-and-click game. Some weird foreign language. Weird scratches, chicken scratches. It's a chicken language. But trust me, it is very, very much coherent once we get to see 
what it is. So, so what, what are you doing here? I was like trying to see like oh, what was I supposed to do. So then I got the eye, and now we can read it. There once was a man who planted a tree and spoke to it daily in reverent rhymes. Daily and reverent rhymes. Before the man died, he shared it with me. The rhyme I have spoken to the tree. I wish he'd actually read it out for us. The tree many times. Approach it yeah. with caution and whisper these words. Fuck off. Okay, speak, speak to, to me, me, tree. Least your eyes nest with birds. Well, that was an eye opening experience. Ugh. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> that was just. No, that was just bad. So I tried I to see if there was on this side. I was trying to see if just in case there was some kind of bonus or like something hidden, like if you were very yeah. uh if you looked into it. Somewhere. Diligent, yeah. Yeah, diligent. So he he has nothing to say and now he's trapped here because there's no way out. So we talk to the tree. To Trump back. Like if he has a little tree mouth. Yeah. Well, I have a glass eye in my pocket. Huh? He left behind the cryptic message that led me to you. Very well. What is it that you seek? Who are you? <laughs> my name is Malus Ionsis. I am the guardian okay. of the Lions, protector of the road. I did not think did not think that was could, could you just walk around him? Mm, logically, yes, but video game-wise, no. And this brings up a question soon. Maybe he'd block you. I don't understand. What do you sacrifice? Freedom. Movement. So this tree was actually someone more special. That huh. was not a, actually a tree, but po like possessed a tree? Hmm. I have no mouth, yet I must scream. Yet I must... look like I'm screaming? <laughs> My face in horror. Well, he does have a mouth. Greed, pride, evil, these aspects of humanity threaten all life. Yeah, who's that? Oh come on. In the name of your creator, Paul Stark, I command you to move aside. How do we make that connection? Uh, Cuz from the grave. Yeah, but like how do we know that the creator was there in the ground? Uh, I think something cuz the man with the glass eye is the one that's the creator, right? So we yeah. when we took the body case from the shelf, it was supposed to have the number of it. Right. Okay. And it connected with uh, the grave. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if I actually played this in the correct logical order, it would have made sense, but I kind of went all around. I don't know, I'd be more impressive at the tree talking than I would be at it moving, but okay. Actually, it moving is still pretty impressive, too. Yeah. Okay, so answer me this question here. But why did it shoot behind him? How did Morgan come huh? in here? Huh? <laughs> he needed the gem to come in here, but the gem's still in the rock. And the tree won't let anyone evil pass by. Huh? Okay. I'm confused. I'm very confused. I don't know how he got in here before Max. And how did he... I know how he teleported Did he just out. teleport? That, that calendar behind him with the, the Mayan calendar or whatnot. Huh. But yeah, how the hell did he get into this place? It makes no sense. There's only so much teleporting you can do. Another world exists. A whole new world. There's a number one written next to this passage. A new fantastic point of view. The 
Yeah, something like that. By the way, that thing there is a pu is like uh, the answer to the puzzle, but it's so small and you can't even view it. Like, oh. come on, what kind of fucking bullshit is that? Something's wrong. There's a device hooked up to it. So Morgan used this uh, Aztec calendar to go to teleport somewhere, but for some reason he manages to decode or like uh, r uh, randomize it for us to decode. I thought we'd just go after uh -huh. him immediately. That's strange. Very. And so once can, I, can we see the symbols? Like, I try to, and technically you can, but it's really, really small. But to be honest, the the solution actually really simple because there's one one of the slides that you can't move, and that sets up the uh, the one on the far right. You can't move the one right. tile. Right. Okay. So it's the Earth in the form of the in the form of the mountains, then the sun and heavens above, and then the extra world above that. Okay. Yeah, I get it. Like that. But but look on the far right on the screen of like the puzzle where. Oh. Okay. So you're. You can't you can't move the very right side of the tile. So that just means if you match that tile, it will then tell you what the next tile is, and then you match that tile, and then it just keeps going. So this puzzle is actually not that difficult. See, I've already matched it, so the next one has to be correct. And then if okay, I okay, so have you done it correctly? Uh, apparently not. So I tried to look at the thing, but I was like, oh, I can't see it. I'm not even sure if that is actually the answer to it, but it it looks like it though. Yes, Wiz, please burn all that would things. hurt. Yes, please burn everything here. Would you rather do that? Yeah, yep. So I'm still trying to figure it out, but I, that I should do. definitely be the two mountains. I think it's because of the eye that it's not like matching up, so right. Yeah, because if it's a, even a slightly bit off, it won't work. Mm hmm. So sun, then star? Is that what it's doing? I'm not sure. I just kind of... I kind of just solved it by luck. Huh? To a degree. So I turned into a... Okay, I see. Olmec. So we're going to be an Aztec warrior next. Yes, this is where I stopped playing when uh, we were both playing the game. I, I just stopped because we were both playing like long hours of this. Yeah. So that's it for this part. So next time on uh, Sanitarium with your host Wizard 100 and Hitman here, we uh, will see you later when we go into Aztec land. And hopefully figure out what's going on. Yes, and the game is soon to end. See ya.